what is going on guys thank you guys so much for checking out the video since you click this video you might as well click that subscribe button so I get a lot of questions about how to grill so this video is how to grill and the first thing I want to show y'all is when I grill I use what is called charcoal wood I don't use the red the regular charcoal like everybody else I use charcoal wood it gives a better taste and it actually burns longer give you a close-up look on it this is what it's looked like it's wood and it's I guess cured or treated with the charcoal ingredients so by me doing a quick barbecue like I'm not doing no ribs you know I'm not doing no baby backs or nothing like that I'm, I'm simply doing just a quick light grill and uh add just a couple of more the bag almost going out anyway and let me show you guys one of the techniques of lighting your grill especially with charcoal oil what you want to do with the lighting fluid because most of the time there's there's wood powder bits or wood powder pellets you could use that you can put in where you won't have to use lighting fluid but i know that's a little expensive so you just kind of want to rock back and forth you know you don't want to drown it but you do kind of want to soak it if that makes sense eh, that should probably be about enough and notice I wasn't you know really squeezing or spraying I was just like I said basically sprinkling it on there to soak it and you give it a good I don't know I'll say maybe a good three maybe four minutes before you light it up now one of the things I like to do too is I like to I take maybe a paper towel and I try to like bend it up and I Put a little bit of the lighting fluid on the paper towel, you know, like on the tip. And let me do that again so y'all can see that. I put like a little, I put a paper towel in there and I put it like on the tip. So that way, when I light it, I light it with my racks. Or I'll put my racks in place when I light it. So I'm not trying to put the racks on. And I leave this one out because I have my little trusty hook right here. So I can hook this one and just put it over there. And we're going to give it another few minutes and then we're going to light it. Okay, so now we're getting ready to light it. And I recommend getting a lighter like this. I use this for my cigars. And, you know, using the regular traditional lighter, I just think it's not safe enough. With this, 
you get a bigger flame, a bigger bang, and it's like, boom, you hit it like that, it started up, and then, you know, there it goes. It's more safer. You actually can back up and get back from the distance. And as you can see, all of the wood is, is catching fire. Yeah, there's a few pieces haven't caught yet. And the thing with the charcoal wood, you know, it doesn't take long for you to get that little white charcoal on it. It doesn't take long for the fire to get ready to be set. And one of the things you want to do to kind of help you out as I come around, you see how I have my vent right here open? That helps the fire get air and helps it breathe a lot better. We'll be ready to grill in maybe another, let's say, five minutes, maybe. So one of the main things I get is what do you put on your chicken wings? So as you can see, my wife is seasoning them. Hold on, baby, I want to show them. So like I said, this is the lemon pepper. What's that right there? Cajun style. Okay. That's the rose garlic herbs. Garlic salt. What she's adding now. And she's mixing it up, but hold on before she finish mixing. Wait, hold up. Yes, before she Phoenix mixing all together, because we didn't have the oranges, <laughs> so we add just a little. just a little orange juice to it maybe like I don't know I guess like a shot like a shot glass of it you okay yeah. you want anything else of this or no you want more mm -hmm. oh that's good no that's good Yep, and we're taking these bad boys <laughs> to the grill. So remember, if you don't have, you know, fresh oranges that you could cut and squeeze yourself, you could just go buy, you know, a gallon of orange juice and pour it on there. It's just simple. You wanna basically put them at the top.
have it. You lower it down. And on the wings, I like to give it like that, that, that curly moon. And what I also do before I walk away is I check my temperature. And I would like it to get up to at least 250. But it's probably going to creep up to maybe just 200. And it's slowly creeping up to 200. So two, yeah, it's a little bit over two, which is good. That also give it time to where you can kind of walk away from it and come back to it. So we'll be back to see how the progress is going, but this is how you barbecue. And those are the, I feel, best barbecue wings in the world. But we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I flipped the wings already. And you know, my wife is seasoning the other food. I just want to give you guys a look. So, my grill has what is called right here a cool spot or, or the warm spot. So, I flipped all of this and I'm going to let this go. And what I'm going to do is all of this is going to flip over to this and this is going to flip over to that. Because I have a cool spot. That's when the charcoal is lit, but it ain't fully lit. As you can, I don't know if you can see the fire underneath this side. And then you look at this side and you don't see no fire. But you see the little grays. That means that it's that hot and cool side. Also, if you have a grill with a thermometer on it, which pretty much, I believe all of them now come with it. Depending on what you cooking, you know, you kind of want to stay between the two and the 300 range. Especially on something like this, the party wings, you kind of don't want to go over three because what happens is it cook quick, you know, and you gotta keep a really good eye on it because you will uh, mess around and burn your wings. So you kind of want to, you know, as you can see, it's at that 200. It's probably going to go up to maybe 210, 220, somewhere around there. You know, if you notice, it's not climbing super fast. You know, it's moving super slow. But one more quick peek. And, uh... Yeah. It's getting there. All right, so let's take a little look. Still got our temperature low at a little bit over 200. I already rotated them, but as you can look at them and see that, and as you hear them, you know, the ones on tops are the ones that <laughs> is enjoying because you don't have to flip those as much. I might flip those on the next checking, but as you look at these, they almost there. And this was the area that was here first. And now this that was over here is now over there. Because this is my cool point. You know, I got my hands close and here I gotta kind of back up. So but eventually as you can see the fire is slowly working its way over to the cool point. And you can see the gray and the charcoal, so. And these are the final results of the wings. I don't know, I love the way they look. Definitely love the way they taste. And uh, this is how you grill. So if you're new to the channel, 
please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And this is how you grill. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. And enjoy.